Hello everyone, um, this is a video on um, how to root your Moto Active. Um, lots of people have been asking me for this video, so fine, I'll make one. Uh, you have to have, excuse me, I'm sick, so mind the voice and the sniffles, and uh, also this is my first tutorial video, so if I fuck up, uh, I don't know, don't shoot me or whatever. Um, first of all, you're going to have to install the ADB drivers. Um, you'll be able to find them. Uh, I'm going to post a link in the uh, comments uh, for that uh, down there. So check that out and uh, download the ADB drivers and install them. Uh, instructions are provided. Once you've done that... Uh, oh, sorry, I forgot to mention. Because my device is already rooted, um, I'm also going to show you how to return it back to stock. You know, kill two birds with one stone. Um, so yeah, you'll, you'll need ADB the other way. So to start, uh, we'll plug in our device, which is uh, hooked to the computer, obviously, that you're using with ADB installed. Um, yeah, hook it up. Wait for uh, some reaction here on your computer. Uh, and uh, you're going to have to download the Moto Active Root Tool, which I will also point, uh, post a link to down uh, in the same spot. Uh, basically, da -da -da, da -da -da -da. open up your Root Tool. Oh, yeah, whatever ends up. Desktop. <coughs> root. You're going to want to tell it to, uh, I don't know, I just save it to the desktop and I make sure it goes in its own directory so I type in a folder name. That way it doesn't just end up all over your desktop like I did before. I let it unzip. And then you should get, let me zoom in here. You should get something like that. Very close, is it? Let's move some stuff around and bring it closer so you can see. Or actually, I have a better idea. Okay. So basically, I'm just going to click uh, Return to Stock. Uh, please enter or put your device into fast boot. Okay, so basically to do this, it tells you right there, but you know, just in case you can't see, get out of the way. Magnifier. Sorry. Uh, so basically you just hold down uh, out. Hold the power button and the start button at the same time for a few seconds. Oh, it's got to be off first. Uh, one important note is uh, you should have 100% battery before doing any of this, or else you could end up in a loop of death. So um, whenever you're attempting to uh, do anything modding to your, uh, you know, modding it through ADB or whatever, or you know, entering fast boot or flashing ROMs or anything. Make sure you have a charged battery, because you will fuck up your Moto Active. So we're holding menu and power to get into fast boot. And then you release. I think I did it wrong. Okay. That's right. So you hold menu and power until the light comes on, and then you release. Yeah, there you go. Um, now you plug in your device into the computer. So you can ignore that first time I said that. Okay. Computer's knowing it's there. Uh, it says transfer mode USB, so that's cool. That's what we want. And press any key. So it wipes it, does its crap. Uh, it totally restores it to default. Okay, uh, you may have noticed uh, that I hit the return to rooted stock button, but uh, I went to return to stock anyway, so return to stock is actually what you want, it does the exact same thing, so uh, anyway, we're back to stock uh, basic functions now um, nothing special, I don't have anything uh, set up 
So what we're going to do is, well, what I'm going to do is first update it. Okay, so checking for updates right now, and there is an update. Um, so uh, it's it's always good to update to the latest version because you can still root it even you know after you've updated it. So you know I always like to keep it updated and get all the new features that Motorola puts onto it. So uh, yeah, so I'm updating right now, and uh, we'll let that uh, do that and. Okay, we are updated to the latest version, and, um, well, let's go ahead and root it. Uh, so, we're going back to our Moto Active Root tool. I've just kept it open the whole time. Um, first, we're going to flash Modified Boot Image. Uh, okay, so now it's going to ask us which... Uh, software we're using. Uh, because we just updated, we are using the latest one, which is uh, version 2. Um, so you're going to hit number 2, and then enter. And now it's going to want us to put it into fast boot mode again. So we're going to go back to our mode of active and turn it off. Let it settle for a sec, and hold the power button and start button until you see the backlight, and then release. Okay. Alright, so we're in fast boot mode, uh, we've got our USB plugged in, um, hooked into ADB mode on our com oh no, sorry, it's not an ADB mode yet, <laughs> I haven't got to that. But yeah, we're in fast boot mode, hooked up to our computer, and now you just want to hit any key and it starts once your motor active is all rebooted and everything you will notice that uh, it doesn't show up as a, um, a drive anymore it's now in ADB mode so basically uh, it, you're able to actually mod stuff uh, in this mode. Uh, in order to get it back into storage mode, you're going to have to install a, um, a Jays tool, which uh, basically gives you a whole bunch of ADB options. Um, I'll also run a link uh, down in the uh, description thing uh, for that as well. Um, and you know, from there, you can do a bunch of modding, which I'll get into in a bit here. Um, anywho, uh, now we're going to root our Moto Active. So uh, just click on that. Uh, because it's in ADV mode, it can now access uh, the stuff it needs to do. I've got to quit doing that. And... Holy crap, sensitive. Okay. So now, basically, we're rooted. It's installed Super User, BusyBox, and Clockwork, uh, Clockwork Recovery. Okay, now next, um, we're going to kind of modify it a little bit so that we can do more with it. Uh, this is uh, the... G, I don't know, it doesn't really have, oh, Moto Active Easy Modder uh, 1.2, uh, which I was talking about earlier. Um, basically, this uses ADB to really modify your Moto Active. So, first, what we're going to do is go 03, which takes us to mods. Um, from there, you can install a Honeycomb Launcher, Z Launcher, you know, all this crap here. You can read it, I guess. Yeah, you can read it. Um, I'm not going to install any of those launchers because I don't use those. Uh, I'm going to install my own. Uh, what I am going to install is this package installer 03. Um, what that allows us to do is uh, install APK files or apps right on our Moto Active without force closing. Um, okay, it's done. Press any key. Uh, let's see, I don't think I need to do any. Oh, I want to remap buttons here 06. Uh, this changes the top buttons on your Moto Active to uh, different functions. Um, I don't really use the start button or the music button for their intended purposes, so I've decided to use this tool to change them to what I want them to do. Uh, in my case, uh, I like number 09. I'm saying the zero in front because you have to type it in or else it doesn't work. Um, so yeah, number 9, uh, start to home button and, sorry, the start button to home and the music button to menu. So I'm going to hit 09 and 
does that and reboots your Moto Active. Uh, my buttons are now changed so I can uh, access more Android functions. Tools, anything in here of interest? Let's see. Uh, there's the stop ADB I mentioned earlier that allows you to go back to uh, storage mode and transfer files to your Moto Active. Uh, clean uh, basically gets rid of all the Moto Active stuff if you don't want it. Uh, I just kept it because, you know, it does take up more space, but I kind of use the notification, uh, text notifications, so I just leave it in there else it screws it up. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, Okay, now we're going to install a custom ROM. Uh, basically, uh, what this does is, well, the ROM that anyway that I'm installing, which is pretty much the only one available right now, um, what it does is, it just, it's the stock Motorola ROM, but it just adds a few things. Uh, you know, it adds the package installer for you. Actually, that makes that redundant, so you don't have to do that, I guess. So it installs the package installer. Um, it also adds, I don't know, you can read up on it, it adds stuff, it's cool. So what we're going to do is, in our easy modder tool, we're going to go uh, under tools menu, reboot into recovery. Uh, what that does is puts our Moto Active into recovery mode, which um, we installed when we rooted it. Uh, Uh, okay, in this mode, volume up and volume down is up and down, and power button is enter. So, after you've downloaded this ROM, which is in the link that I, or in one of the links I've given you, uh, you're going to transfer it to your Moto Active uh, anywhere on it, which you know you want to put on it, uh, and you go to install zip card or zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card, and then you browse to your zip. Uh, I've got it in here, and that's 1.1.2 A, which is the same as 1.1.2 B without the package installer. Uh, you probably won't. You'll probably have the latest one. So, same idea anyway. Hit enter. Go all the way down to yes. Sorry. And it installs. Okay, now it's installed. We're going to go back and reboot. Okay, if you're like me and you don't like the one of the two launchers that's in the JTool, or Easy Modder Tool, um, you're going to have to use Fastboot. Uh, I also, I guess, will provide... No, I don't know. Fuck it, just Google it. Um, it's easy enough to find. Uh, to use it, once you've downloaded it to a folder, uh, basically you add your APK files uh, pulled from your phone or something um, into your Fastboot folder so that it's easy to access. Uh, once you've done that, you go into uh, Command Prompt and type in, or basically browse to your directory. So CDC, blah, 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 mine's Moto. Uh, once you're in Moto, you go Fastboot, ins or Sorry, it's not fast food, it's ADB. So we're actually using ADB here. I just call it fast food because that's the folder it's in. Anyway, AB, ADB install, uh, whatever your APK is, or you know, your launcher that you're going to install. So mine, I've just renamed to launcher.apk for ease of typing. Uh, and then it does its thing. Okay, so it's installed Launcher Pro now. Uh, you can go back to your Moto Active. Um, turn it on. Uh, oh, apparently we've just rebooted. So apparent, pretend that you're back in your stock launcher still. Um, now we're gonna hit our home button. Uh, if you haven't set your keys yet, or you decided not to, or whatever, uh, just reboot your device, and you will get this. Uh, menu to choose which launcher you want to use. Launcher is the original Moto Active launcher. Uh, if you go down to Launcher Pro, um, that's the one I've just installed. So you hit that. Uh, and now we're in our new launcher. Uh, you can access all your apps in here this way. Um, and yeah, uh, right now 
I don't have a whole lot on here, so what I'm going to do uh, is either you can go to the market and download your shit, or what I'm going to do is go back to ADB and install a couple things that, well, they're already here, so I might as well install them on ADB, right? So, anywho, probably easier for you guys just to go to the market and download your stuff. Uh, once it has updated to the latest Google Play, you can, um, you know, download stuff uh, from your smartphone, or that you have downloaded on your smartphone, it just all appears in your uh, apps list. Um, you can't search or anything, uh, it just force closes, so you're going to have to go through it that way. Uh, or just browse the, you know, the hot apps or whatever and do category views and all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah. Anywho, there's a whole bunch of other mods that you can do uh, that allow you to, <clears throat> uh, say, like, get into uh, the get original Wi-Fi settings, which I find much easier to use because I'm used to it from my smartphone. Um, so, you know, I usually do something, like in Launcher Pro, for example, this is how I do it. Uh, change the shortcut to a setting. Oh, activity. And then settings. And basically find, uh, I think it's managed networks. No. Wi-Fi managed networks. Uh, so this one here, settings, Wi-Fi dot Wi-Fi settings. Default icon, and let's just make sure. Yep, that's the one. So now I can do my regular adding Wi-Fi and stuff. Um, yeah, you can turn it on and add your network. So yeah, now your Moto Active is rooted and uh, able to be screwed around with. Um, I guess that's everything. Uh, if I've missed something, I don't know, I guess comment about it or something, I don't know. Uh, if not, uh, yeah, you know, it's um, pretty neat once you get it actually modded. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, I guess, and enjoy.